to uh, get a job opportunity. Could you expand on that as well? Sure, so there's really two, two pieces at play. Um, traditionally, when, when, so we're a vocational school, being a cook is a hands on skill, the same way we teach, you know, people how to fix cars. And we don't normally make trades programs available internationally, so the Canadian trades program is sometimes just unfamiliar. But how a Canadian becomes a chef in Canada is they would train for seven months, and then they would work for a year, and then they would train seven months, and then they would work a second year, and then they would train and work a third year. So that's our trades program. It's a mixture of apprenticeship, working with a master chef, and education component. So a two-year program of study is still meant to have work for the Canadian students. It's meant to have work to do. And so we put the students in a two-year program, and what it allows is after the first year is completed, the student would be transitioning to this work component, and we can apply for work permit, we can apply for um, you know, the permission to stay and have that position. And then when the student gets their PR, that's when we invite them back to take their second year. Only the second year as a PR student, they pay the Canadian price, and we can use Canada's student aid to pay for it. But what we're talking about with that break 